All right, Mr. O'Kefi in London, uh, what do you make of uh, Israel's uh, ground incursion into, uh, into the Gaza Strip? I mean, what do you think it will achieve? Well, as I stated before, I think what it will achieve is the kind of anger and hatred and bitterness that will come back uh, in the form of uh, so-called terrorism, whether it be uh, suicide bombings or uh, other such uh, forms of resistance, and that will further justify Israel using its uh, overwhelming power to crush uh, those that it doesn't like. Of course, Israel and America is a perfect example. has no problem with uh, brutal and uh, corrupt regimes. Uh, clearly, uh, Saddam Hussein was perfect for their purposes. For years, they were all too happy, the United States, to support Saddam Hussein. And uh, the more corrupt and brutal, the better, quite frankly, as long as you're willing to carry out the policies of, uh, of, of your benefactor. And in this particular case, Hamas obviously couldn't be bought, and uh, therefore Israel has found a perfect excuse to go in and punish uh, the democratically elected government, uh, but they're not punishing them, are they? They're punishing the people. And this is what we all know. And this is where I bring it back to us in the West. If I have particular anger, it is not actually directed at the perpetrator of the crime as much as it is my own brothers and sisters who inhabit the West in which I come from, because it is us, and in particular, the EU. Shame on the EU for not having any conversation, communication with the democratically elected government of Palestine and talking about democracy. It is like America talking about weapons of mass destruction with a straight face. The nation that produces more weapons of mass destruction than any nation on the planet distributes and uses more such weapons. Talking about weapons of mass destruction is ludicrous. Israel clearly knows how to play this game. They're going to try and manipulate things continually in the same cycle. It is my greatest hope that Hamas and the legitimate and uncorrupt elements with the Palestinian Authority because quite frankly how can we expect corrupt individuals within any government to be uh, partners in, in, with those who are actually serving the interests of the people the corrupt elements within the PA who are collaborating with Israel and the United States are traitors and how can we expect Hamas to deal with traitors so the, the ones, however, who are not corrupt, and there are many, and I know many within the PA who are not corrupt, those leaders are to be respected. But those that are accused of being collaborators, we must use law. I am a believer in law, due process of law. I am a believer in human rights. So it's not up to Hamas to simply execute those that it disagrees with or believes. It must prove and show the evidence. And this is the only way, in all areas, this is the only way, respect for the law, respect for human rights, this is the only way to affect justice and the only way there will ever be peace in this world. And that's really the end goal of the Israelis and the Americans to prevent any justice. That's why probably if history is any indication of the immediate future, we will not see war crimes trials for the people carrying out these policies. Why don't we have George Bush and Tony Blair facing war crimes trials for Iraq? Because there's no justice in this world. And until we have justice, there will be no peace. So hopefully this is the be all end all where the world finally unites and says that's it. We've had enough. Now those are, that carried out these policies will be held to account and from that there is a chance that we may move on in the right direction. All right, uh, Mr. Yassin. In, D in Damascus, uh, no justice there, uh, what Mr. Akefi said. What, what do you think about the justice system in the world? Well, I, I'm just, I, I, uh, I agree with uh, my colleague in London. I think there is no justice. There is a kind of how to worship the power. The power is ruling the world. No justice now. I think those aggressed people now, they are seeking justice now. They, uh, their cause will not be solved in the United Nations. Their cause will not be uh, solved by policy because uh, their, right ha their rights were taken by force. That's the only way to regain their rights is the force itself. Uh, because justice is a dream now in, in nowadays world. I think uh, justice now is weeping now in, 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 in Gaza Street. Justice is crying. Justice now, where is the, the, the human rights? Where, the, where is the international law? Now, how can we punish 
one million and a half uh, just uh, for uh, maybe uh, two or three thousand of militia from Hamas. So I think this is the, the, the justice now is only imagination and nobody can believe in the, uh, the, in the United States, uh, for example, the rights or the democracy as well as Israel. So the justice will not come through uh, these uh, peaceful negotiations. It will, come, it, it will come through their force, I think, and their power and their resistance. All right. Uh, Mr. Yassin, as Mr. Rakafi mentioned, uh, he mentioned that uh, there should be Palestinian unity. And, of course, uh, an, an analyst I was speaking to earlier here on Press TV, he said that, uh, first of all, in order for peace to take place, uh, the two Palestinian factions, Hamas and Fatah, that is, uh, should put their differences aside and become united in order to solve uh, the whole crisis altogether. Well, I think one of the negative aspects of the Palestinian cause nowadays is the, this kind of partition between the two fract fractions between Hamas and Fatah. And I think this gap between them, it deepened now uh, and it made uh, uh, the Hamas as a very easy target for Israeli just to attack uh, uh, Gaza Strip. I, I think the first step after uh, uh, avoiding this attack is for the Palestinians to unify, to be one, because they have one cause, one target, and one horizon for peace in future. Without their unity, I think they have a very, very uh, little uh, optimism in future, because uh, how can uh, the other sympathize, sympathize with them while they are uh, conflicting each other, they are fighting each other, and uh, as our, my colleague said now, we have honest people from Hamas, they were uh, democracy uh, elected, and while uh, Fatah itself is full of corruption, I think there is no, what we say now, uh, uh, a kind of uh, disintegrity between uh, honesty and dishonesty, between Ramallah and between Gaza. I think we hope that they will unify themselves under one umbrella, the umbrella of the Palestinian people, the Palestinian interest and the Palestinian cause. All right, uh, Mr. Yassin, uh, again, as Mr. Rekefi said, uh, there should be shame on the European Union. We have the French President, uh, Nicolas Sarkozy, accusing the Hamas uh, of acting in an, ir quote, irresponsible and unforgivable unforgivable manner. But of course what we're seeing uh, that's happening in the Gaza Strip is, uh, is opposite to this. It's just, an, uh, as many say, unforgivable uh, Israeli campaign against the children of Gaza. I think shame and maybe, uh, for example, endless shame on the, the, the European uh, democracy. European democracy only democracy for its people, not for the Arab people or the Muslim people. As I said before, in Mumbai now, all the coverage from CNN, from BBC, and from all channels from the West, they were covering now only a, a Taj uh, Mahal's hotel in Mumbai. And many, just only some, because now some Westerns, they were there. While now you have, just you can see now, uh, one million and a half, they are sieged, they, are, they, they live in blockade in Gaza Strip. Where is the, democ uh, the democracy in, in, in the EU? So I think they are very egoist, they are very selfish in their commenting on the, the, uh, the democracy. They, they, they like, it's a chosen democracy. They are not, as they said now, it's a total bias from Sarkozy himself uh, against Hamas. Uh, now Sarkozy himself uh, knows the, the, the region maybe more than the Americans. So why he is telling just, I think it's a kind of, of blind support for Israel and for its uh, incursion and attack against uh, Hamas and Gaza Strip. And nobody now in the Arab world, Islamic world, will believe in the democracy of the West because now it's a naked democracy. It's a very, very, uh, very, I mean, blind uh, democracy. It knows only its interest while they ignore the other rights and the other interests.